Hi, I'm Jay Brown from NVE Corporation. Today we're going to take a look at a product demonstrator for NVE's GT series gear tooth sensors. These sensors use high sensitivity low hysteresis GMR for a wide air gap tolerance. Different versions are available to detect any size gear teeth. Analog versions provide sinusoidal outputs. Digital versions have a 50% duty cycle modulated current. This demonstration has the gear tooth sensor, an inexpensive ceramic 8 bias magnet mounted on the opposite side of a circuit board from the sensor, simple amplifier electronics, a micrometer mechanism to vary the air gap, a motor driven gear, a meter to show the sensor current, and a two channel oscilloscope to show the sensor outputs. For this demo, we're connected to an external scope. There are three types of GT sensors. Single bridge analog sensors, dual bridge analog sensors, and digital sensors. A biasing magnet provides field and the flux lines are deflected into the direction of sensitivity by passing metal gear teeth. The sensor produces a sinusoidal output with one cycle per tooth. Let's go to the demonstration. First, we have the ABL-004 single bridge analog sensor. So I'll turn the motor on. As the gear spins, you see a sinusoidal output on the oscilloscope. The sensor current is shown on this meter. Typical sensor current is just one milliamp for an ABL-004 single bridge sensor with a five volt supply. This is a typical 1.5 millimeter sensor to magnet spacing. As I increase the air gap, you can see the output amplitude decreases, but stays a symmetrical sine wave. The amplifier has a gain of about 20, so the amplitude, even at the large distances, is several millivolts. With a large gear like this, the sensors typically operate over at least a 5 millimeter air gap range. Now we have an ABL-014 dual bridge analog sensor and two channels on the scope. The sensor is positioned approximately 4 millimeters away from the gear tooth. The dual bridge sensor has phase shifted outputs providing direction information. Sensor current is typically two milliamps, a maximum of 2.5 milliamps. Current is shown on the meter here. The third demonstration is an AKL series digital sensor. With this sensor, you see a 50% duty cycle digital output. This provides speed information. As I change the air gap, the output doesn't change. And if I turn the gear slowly by hand, you see the sensors work to zero speed, or DC. This is a current modulated two-wire device. The current switches between four milliamps and eight milliamps to indicate a gear tooth. So, to sum up, we've shown that GT sensors are a robust way to detect gear rotation with a wide air gap tolerance. Click, email, or call us for more information.